Once again, we have Black Rifle Coffee taking advantage of and using Kyle Rittenhouse at SHOT Show 2023. Stick around and let's talk about it. Welcome to the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. I am Jacob, your host. This channel is made possible through the support of my viewers. You can support this channel either by going to my website, beachandtactical.com, where I sell custom made, uh, made to order rifle slings. I'm also currently doing a pre-sale on our I Hate Communists t-shirts. I also have a knife brand, Exodus Knife and Tool Premium Knives Made in Michigan for practical use. And this month's channel sponsor is Stan Strong Art. I would encourage you to check him out, especially for his Christian warrior themed gear. So links to how you can support this channel will be in the description box below to include my Patreon and affiliate links. Let's get you right back to the content. So unless you live under a rock, you're probably familiar with Kyle Rittenhouse and how he has been associated with Black Rifle Coffee in the past. If you experienced this situation and took a side in this situation, you would realize that it was a lot more complicated than what you will find now. So much of the information and what was said has been scrubbed. I don't even know that I should really go over the basics, but what I will say is that people's rallying cry against Black Rifle Coffee for very good reason for a long time now has been Kyle Rittenhouse. Kyle Rittenhouse, a youth who looked up to people like the people at Black Rifle Coffee and wanted to represent them was then thrown under the bus by Evan Hafer specifically, one of the head honchos and owners at Black Rifle Coffee. Now you've seen this narrative change a lot over the, since it happened. Uh, you've seen Evan Hafer squirm and try to change the meanings and definitions of what's been said. And what you will see here is a continuation of just that. Black Rifle Coffee has moved away from having Evan Hafer as their lead spokesperson because he's a slimy communist and it's pretty obvious. He makes a fool out of himself and uh, he's not very good at sounding conservative, right? And he's not very good at holding his mouth, holding his tongue, or saying the right thing. So what we have is their, uh, their golden boy, Matt Best, he hung out at the VFW booth for about 30 minutes at SHOT Show, nonchalantly acting like he cared about whatever they had to say, watching the Kyle Rittenhouse uh, line until it slowed down, went over there and did a photo op with Kyle Rittenhouse. Now, Black Rifle Coffee has already been priming Kyle Rittenhouse by using one of their sycophants, Brandon Herrera, uh, to cozy up to the kid, probably to get him to come around to working with Black Rifle Coffee. And this is, a, this is really a bad deal because this is uh, Black Rifle Coffee taking advantage of a youth for their own personal gain. You see, people have fairly short memories. People are fairly easily easy to emotionally manipulate. And if Black Rifle Coffee can say, look, we never did anything bad to Kyle Rittenhouse and we're buddies with him now, that could be worth almost any amount of money that they want to spend. I wouldn't be surprised to see Kyle Rittenhouse actually brought on to the Black Rifle payroll as one of their, I don't know, influencers, figures, key figures, whatever you may want to say, because it would strengthen their argument against all of the crap that they did previously. Again, what did they do? I'll put a link somewhere in here if you've been living under a rock. I feel like you probably already know. But it's just a shame because for one, money talks. For two, Kyle Rittenhouse's experience in life has already been incredibly... Um, traumatic. Uh, and he already looked up to Black Rifle Coffee. So I'm sure that 
he was emotionally uh, he was emotionally probably in a very difficult spot when he was going through this trauma and Evan Hafer was giving him the old what for uh, but he looked up to these guys now Matt Best is coming up to him they're all cozying up to him you're going to start seeing the money this is just a company doing marketing this is just dollar dollar bills at Kyle's expense of course uh, now Kyle should never have had the political sway or influence that he garnished in the first place we had uh, you know it was popularized while he was in court four doors more whores and all of this other stuff that he had said you're going to see the degenerate uh, military community really latch onto that crap and it's really going to have the same effect as the stuff that Black Rifle Coffee is doing. Um, but he was a kid in a hard place and he's still a kid. So he does not have, uh, it would seem, the, uh, the experience to really understand what's going on or decipher how he's being used. But there's no doubt in my mind, of course this is PR for Black Rifle Coffee, and what, at the end of the day, for my thinking viewers and subscribers, what's important to note here is that Kyle Rittenhouse was always irrelevant to the discussion. This is what I mean. I'd like to use Marty Daniels as an example here, owner of Daniel Defense. When Marty Daniels supported Fix Nix, there was a huge backlash, and he came back relatively quickly and said, I'm sorry, I didn't read the whole bill. I no longer support Fix Nix. Here's the problem with that. Fix Nix isn't the issue. The issue is what Marty Daniels thought was in Fix Nix that he supports which was all of the background check bullcrap and anti-2A legislation that he supported. The name of the entire bill or what else is in there is absolutely irrelevant because he supports the things that he said he supports, supported when the bill was introduced. And of course now, uh, with the current situation with the EPA and the Supreme Court being potentially unconstitutional and potentially abolished, we'll see if that happens, when he is asked if he would support the ATF being legally disbanded, he says no. He's got to lick the fingers of his master. So, the things that uh, Evan Hafer said that Black Rifle Coffee supports, the things that they said and he said in his New York Times article, which he, by the way, shared before there was backlash, he was proud of it. He's the one who invited the New York Times, and there was nothing racist about any of it. He just wants to hide behind his race, and we're gonna talk about some of these race issues shortly. I'll post a link here about who the real enemy is. I'm going to give you a, a little hint. Uh, it's not just the Jews, uh, and it's not just any one group of people. If you zero in too much on one group of people, there are going to be bad people in that group. But if you zero in too much, you're going to miss the whole picture. We have a bigger picture here. So uh, you can check out that video if you feel like it. But Kyle Rittenhouse is a kid. He's not perfect. The reality is that when it comes to the reason that we have problems with Black Rifle Coffee, he is irrelevant. Black Rifle Coffee did not just do Kyle Rittenhouse dirty. They did Kyle Rittenhouse dirty for reasons that are in support of the shadow government, the deep state, evil, the Democrat agenda. They are funding the Democrats. However you want to define this, they are the bad guys, and they will still be the bad guys whether or not they nudge up to Kyle Rittenhouse for some thumbs-ups and a big paid PR stunt. Kind of pathetic. What we're going to see here, since Evan Hafer has repeatedly made an ass of himself, is, and what we have started to see, is Matt Best coming more out of the closet to talk in his place. Matt Best recently said, 
Yes, we effed up with Kyle Rittenhouse. We said things that we shouldn't have said. Of course, he didn't actually apologize because he just went on to make a bunch of excuses for it anyways uh, and continue to just advertise the Black Rifle Coffee defenses. But um, we're going to see more Matt Best. Then what we will see is just like we've seen in the past, Matt Best will screw it up by banging some whore or continuing to be unfaithful to his wife, whatever the case may be with that. Uh, but nobody in the Black Rifle Coffee community will really care because Black Rifle Coffee exists to fund Democrats and to rot our military and conservative morals from the inside. And the people who are already rotten aren't going to care that much. Rot wants to spread more rock. It doesn't want to heal. That's where we're at, guys. Just another weak, incredibly shallow PSYOP that I would like to say will be seen through by every sentient being, but most likely will be ate up as absolute truth by 99% of the conservative community. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please check out the description box below to see how you can support this channel. If you hate the video, just write me paragraphs about why. Write me paragraphs about why Evan Hafer's a good person and you just love Black Rifle Coffee and the Democrats and Satan and all of that. It'll be enjoyable for all of us to read. And uh, yeah, have a blessed day.